In the shadow of Sam's untimely demise, a mournful resolve solidified within our group. Sam was laid to rest near the campsite, a humble cairn of stones marking his grave. This solemn moment underscored the stark reality of our situation, sparking a silent pact among us to end this nightmare once and for all. The subsequent days merged into a whirlwind of preparation and exploration. Our trio, Ethan, Ben, and Lucas, with a renewed determination, plunged into the cryptic depths of the ancient texts and artifacts in our possession. The texts hinted at rituals and primordial power sites, indicating that the land itself could hold the key to banishing this malevolent force. It dawned on us that our best shot was to lure the entity into a place where its power could be confined and potentially redirected. As we strategized, the entity's presence intensified, its assaults becoming more regular and aggressive. Inanimate objects took on a life of their own, eerie whispers permeated the air, and unsettling visions haunted us. Each encounter left us more depleted than before, as if the entity was attempting to shatter our resolve before we could implement our plan. In the midst of this escalating paranormal onslaught, we chanced upon a map amidst the ancient texts. It pinpointed the location of an ancient stone circle, reputed to be a powerful site. Located deep within the forest and miles away from our current location, we identified it as our best opportunity to confront and vanquish the entity. We resolved to set off at dawn, cognizant that this could be our last journey together. The night before our departure was fraught with anxiety. Lucas, in a rare moment of lucidity, voiced his guilt for unleashing this horror upon us. However, we quickly silenced him. Blame had long since lost its relevance, with our destinies now entwined and unified by our shared objective of survival and retribution for Sam. Our trek to the ancient site was riddled with danger. The forest seemed to conspire against us, with paths twisting unexpectedly and shadows flitting at the edge of our vision. We thought we were lost multiple times, only to be guided back to the path marked on the ancient map. It felt as if the land itself was testing our resolve or, perhaps, steering us. As we approached the site, the atmosphere crackled with a tangible sense of power. The stone circle perched atop a hill in a clearing consisted of ancient stones arranged in an energy humming pattern. The setting sun cast elongated shadows, bathing the stones in an uncanny light, as if the site was rousing from an extended slumber. And so, here we stand, at the threshold of the stone circle, ready to face the entity. What happens next remains to be seen.